Okay, recording another video um, answering a physics A-level question, a mechanics one. This topic's about momentum. It's actually a multiple choice question. It's only worth one mark, but it's a really, really tricky idea. And I think that um, I've had so many students ask me about questions like this in the past. It's definitely worth um, doing a video on it. So pause the video and read the question if you haven't already. Um, if, uh, so here we go. So we've got a uh, water of density of 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed right uh, yeah that's correct sorry density is kilograms per meter cubed flows out of a garden hose with a cross-sectional area of 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared at a rate of 2 times 10 to the minus 4 meters cubed per second how much momentum is carried by the water leaving the hose per second so um, we're being asked for momentum right per second so momentum is mass times velocity. Mass times velocity. Okay, and um, I can get the mass right because density is equal to mass divided by volume. So um, mass will be density times volume. Right, density times volume. So I've got the density and I have the volume of water coming out per second. So that's the mass of water coming out per second. So one thousand times 2 times 10 to the minus 4 is the mass, right? So that mass is that. And I need to multiply it by the velocity, right? But I'm not given the velocity. So this is where you kind of have to think about visualizing what's going on. So imagine you have a garden hose. OK, there's the garden hose and you've got a column of water coming out of it, right? And the column of water is going to be the same size, the same shape as um, the hose, internally anyway, right? So the cross-sectional area here is going to be 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared. That area is 7.2 times 10 to the, um, to the minus 4 meters squared. And the volume of this cylinder of water that's come out, right, is 2 times 10 to the minus 4 meters cubed. Now, if you wanted to calculate the volume of anything, like a cube for instance, so you have a cube like this, right, you do the height times the depth, height depth, uh, times the width. Right. If you did the depth times the width, or if you did the height times the width, right? If you just did height times width, it's that area there, right? And then you've got this value here, the depth. So you could just calculate the area of one face and multiply it by the length of the object. This length here, right? And this area here, and that volume. So volume. So what have I actually got here? I've got the volume. I've got the area which means I could calculate this length. Why is this length significant? This is the volume that comes out per second, right? So this is the length that would come out per second. So it's actually the velocity. So if I can calculate that length, I'm actually calculating the velocity. So rearrange for the length. Volume divided by area, right? Volume divided by area, which is, so if I put that back here, It's going to be a volume of 2 times 10 to the minus 4 divided by the area, which is 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay. Now, as long as you don't make any silly mistakes in your calculator, you should get a value. This is what the calculator actually reads 55555 five, five, five recurring times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, I wouldn't answer the wouldn't write a written answer like this. That's obviously Newton's Newton seconds, sorry, Newton seconds. Right, I wouldn't write my written answer like that, but um, I can clearly see that that corresponds to this answer B, which is the correct answer. Okay, now you might think, is it worth doing all that work for one question? Obviously, you'll get faster at these things. If you do the multiple choice questions, uh, they really help you uh, with those longer answer questions because they really expect a lot from you in these multiple choice questions. Uh, so they're definitely worth looking at. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please make them in the comment section on YouTube. Thanks for watching.